Water, please. Here you are. Let me, chef, let me get a water. What? Water? Yeah. Guys, look at the view. Can you guess where we're at? I'll give you. A, we'll give you a couple seconds. All right. If you guessed it, we're. I think it's Florida. We're still in Florida, Houston. Yeah, this is actually Destin. No, we're in <laughs> Chub K, Bahamas. So this is the first time I've been to Chub K. This place is already super cool. It's just an island with a bunch of fishermen and a couple yacht people. Really, all it is. Literally, it's a tiny island. We'll throw a picture up. It's tiny, but uh, room five eleven. We'll come check it out. Got a nice little villa. Not really a villa, but it's a super nice place. I guess this is. I don't know how new this is, but if y'all staying at Chub K, and you're staying at Chub K Resort or whatever it's called, get you five room five eleven. It's super nice. But yeah, look at the view. Beautiful, but we're here. We're here till Sunday. Today is Wednesday, and it's five o'clock. So here till Sunday. We got a couple days. We're actually about to head to the boat and go see Miguel and Carlos and Chip, my boy Chip. But yeah, we're about to go check all them out. Make sure everything's ready to go. Tomorrow we're practice fishing, and then captain's meeting tomorrow, and then Friday game day, baby. Friday and Saturday. So you'll see, it'll, tomorrow will be a whole video by itself, and then captain's meeting will finish off the video, and then Friday and Saturday will be a whole nother video for y'all. But, listen, I have something special. I just got it. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, you know, I got, I got some gold chains. I got a new one. I got a new one that hopefully is gonna help us kick off the season right, so. Yeah, let's not bring the surprise, bro. Yeah, yeah, we ain't going to do it yet. But you'll see it tomorrow, for sure. But, yeah, we're going to go down there, see everybody, and we'll see y'all down there. Oh, Lord. All right, guys, so Miguel, Chip, they're all sponsored by Pelagic. So Pelagic sent the boat, since Miguel's our captain and Chip's working on, with us and stuff. Pelagic sent us a bunch of stuff. These are the Latitude sunglasses. Look at that case. Super cool case. Oh, these are actually nice. Oh, these are actually nice. So, Pelagic right there on the side. Got us some hats. Oh, look at that rope hat. That's cool. That's a nice hat. Car's gonna want that. Sonar. That's cool. For my sunglasses and the new ones. So, Pelagic. Thank you. Sent me another pair. And these are the Ballyhoo black and blue blue glass. These are real nice. I'll be rocking these this weekend. Yeah, I like those. Ones. I'm gonna be rocking these. So Pelagic, thank you from Gunslinger TV. Got us some shorts, sonar shorts. Pelagic. These are the uh, side scanner sonar. Captain's mini shorts. And these are. Mako 18 inch hybrid. Oh yeah, look at that. Simple but effective. No. Oh wow, that is actually a cool design. That's nice. Pelagic, that's sick. I appreciate that shirt. Nice. Huh? Pelagic. Uh, our alarm's going off. What? It's okay. We're good to go, baby. 
But we, we really appreciate the package. And we'll be wearing that this weekend. And thank you, Clay Chick. Tomorrow, so we'll, we'll see you all outside. Hi right, guys, so we're at the boat, talked to Miguel. They went out today and they missed the blue. It said it was a really cool bite, but the boat right here behind us, kind of behind us, they caught one today out of the whole entire fleet. One sailfish was caught, so it's been kind of iffy. The other day they went and caught 12, I think. So there's actually a couple of Destin boats here. A couple of friends are here. They're down there somewhere but tomorrow we're gonna wake up we're gonna go get fuel and we're gonna make a run which over here a run is not far we're, when we talk about making a run in the Gulf we're talking about 100 plus miles or 60 plus miles you know that's a run over here a run is 10 miles also this tournament y'all are gonna see the practice day and us getting here that's this video and the next video will be the tournament so we're just letting you'll see the preparation and stuff for it we got the chance to come over here and do it some practice day, practice fishing and stuff like that it's really nice out here today it's been nicer but rain came in out of nowhere it's supposed to be good tomorrow hopefully uh, but it's supposed to be nicer this weekend for sure we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night. We're gonna eat some pasta Miguel's making. Tomorrow we're gonna get the rods and reels out, get some lines wet, and try to find where the fish are so Friday we have an advantage, you know? If you go bass fishing, you have practice days, and you go figure out where you're gonna fish the next, or for the tournament. You go hunting, you put a camera out so you know where the deer are. And hopefully go smash them for tournament, win this thing. It'll be the first, first tournament of the year. Y'all get ready. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good year. Let us know down in the comments how many tournaments you think we're going to win. But we're going to go enjoy some Chub K and go eat some pasta and hang out with the crew. And then we're going to go back, get some sleep, and get ready for in the morning. It's going to be a long, long day. But catch y'all tomorrow. guys we're leaving we're getting out of here we're, we got our dredges ready uh, here you don't have to go too far to start fishing but we're gonna make a little run like I said a little run but we got our dredges ready to go uh, we're actually about to leave the marine and then blast off but it's almost time to fish we're gonna fish, I think, like half the day. Try to find some, and then go to the same spot tomorrow if we can find them. But if not, we'll just keep searching. But we're gonna take off, so we'll see y'all when we start fishing. We're fishing, guys. We're fishing. Putting out the right teaser right now. It's going out. We got the outriggers pulled out. Basically, same thing we do when we're trolling and stuff back home, but we're gonna be using dredges with our own keys. And it's just that the dredge, what a dredge is, if you don't know what a dredge is, is if you look at it, it's a bunch of squid. That's a bunch of squid with little fish chasing it. So it makes sailfish, marlin, all that, like mahi, everything will come look at it. And they'll look, they'll look at it and they'll be like, oh, look at that school of fish chasing that bait. So they'll come up, there's no hooks on it. They'll come up, get behind our dredge, and then we have our lures and stuff with hooks. Or we'll pitch, throw a pitch bait with like a ballyhoo. We already got a rig hook. Ballyhoo or a bigger fish, whatever we got. We got mullet on those it just looks like a bunch of school of bait they'll come up swim in it whack at it we'll get some cool videos of them right here 
but this is our practice day. We'll, uh, like I said, we're gonna fish about half day. Try to find where the fish are, locate them. So tomorrow, we come up, when we start fishing, we gotta, we know where, where they've been, what they're doing. Just trying to figure out what they're doing. Time to fish, baby. Start fishing like half an hour ago. We marked some bait down in the sonar. So, marked maybe some tuna or shark. So, just waiting here for the first bite. Any moment. Merchandise. Yep. It's a perfect cloak. It's everywhere. You can get the merchandise through his Instagram, but he'll take the lead on that. And there's another one. You can't miss it, guys. It's just right there. Hi, guys. We'll update. It's, uh, about to have to go put on my Plagic sunglasses, but, uh, we marked the fish and some bait, and then it kind of, like, disappeared. And we marked another fish. I think it was a shark. But, so far, it's kind of slow, but there's some other boats fishing where we're at, so see what happens. It's almost 9.30, so we'll see what happens. Go for it. Right, guys, we're making a move. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to go, but... We'll see you on the next spot. Yeah, we make a little bit move. We run 50 miles to the south, so we're trying to look different area here. There's some bay down in the, in the machine, but we still have no bite yet, any moment. Any moment we could get a bite around here. That's a lot of bait over there. But that is bait. This one right here? Yeah, all those red. All the mar with yellow and red, that's that's a lot of bait around this area. So any moment we get a bite. 10 30? We just got to our next spot, but we just, Miguel just said there's a bunch, bunch of bait. No, no other marks though. I don't know if you can see, but uh, right over there's land. So it's basically like Palm Beach. It's right there. Yeah, they're, they're hearing a bunch of bait. Uh, no big marks, but I'm rocking the new pelagic sunglasses. These things are actually super nice. Super, super nice. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of bait. Nothing, nothing. It's too quiet, isn't it? Huh? It's too quiet and slow. Maybe we're in the, um, it's like the uh, calm before the storm. Yeah, we just need a... It's practice day, which is good. Yeah. But we're getting everything out of the way now, so tomorrow we can succeed and we win this thing Saturday. But it's all good. We're not gonna get mad and have a bad mood and stuff, you know. But we'll keep fishing. We'll let y'all know if we catch anything. 
places. A good place to come fish, so we'll just see what happens. Guys, well, Sarah just caught a barracuda. Uh, same thing as back home, but that was a lot smaller than the ones we usually catch. Yeah. Really about it. The first action. I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna see what happens. We're vibing, having a good time. Hopefully, we'll get a, a little old blue marlin come up and get one of these baits or sailfish or something. My heat. That'd be nice. But yeah, we'll let's see what happens. We'll pick y'all back up if anything does happen. We marked some, some. We have some marks. Could be a blue marlin or maybe a char, but we're still waiting. We need a buy soon. We need a big blue marlin. Well, what's that one again? Well, we have a mark here down 160, 150 feet. Same, same mark, maybe. Hopefully, this time we get the bite. Yeah, we, we have it again over there in the regular sounder, in the vertical, and never get a bite. So, I don't know, those fish, they're not hungry today, or... It's a little bit deep, it's at 220 feet down the boat. Again, never show up. All right, guys, it's 12:30. Yes, yeah, I think it's 12:30. But anyways, we uh, had another mark. They went perfect. Went right right into the spread and just veered off, lost it. But it's all right. It's nice. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Sun came out, shining. But if y'all are confused on how we're doing this right now, or if you've never seen this and you want to know what we're doing, so we got four rods out. We got our two longs, or they're not really long, but they're called longs. Then we got our two short, or really, not even shorts, two flats. But we got a dredge, two dredges out, which is the school of fish. And then behind that, we have teasers, which is, I think we have two squid chain, or no, a squid chain out as one teaser, and then the other side is, I think, a big lure. But then we have four ballyhoos out, and they're swimming, so it looks like there's a bunch of bait behind the boat. So what happens is the marlin comes up, whatever, a billfish comes up, They'll get in the teaser, they'll push the buttons on the teaser, reel them up, get them to follow the boat up, and then we throw something back there, or they see on their way up, they see our valley hood that's swimming, and then that's what you want. They'll eat that, and then that's got the hook in it. So that's really how we're doing it, uh, how everybody's really doing it. Some people may be pulling lures, but most, most everybody's gonna be using Ballyhoo. But, yeah, thought I'd just let y'all know this. We just got hit, I think. I don't know, something. We just got hit. But, I might have dove down. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Hopefully, by the time this trip ends, We'll get a video of the blue marlin or sailfish, whatever, coming up into the dredge and then coming and eating our blue or our belly hoo or whatever. But we'll see. If not, I'm sure we'll get it sometime this year. Yeah, we're just gonna keep 
hanging out, watching the spread, hoping Marlin comes on, or shellfish, really anything. Just see so we know what's happening, what the fish are doing, what they're liking, but we'll see you on a little bit. Came out, chased the teaser all the way up. Looked like it was gonna eat the Carlos's bait, but over here, eight chip. Came off. Didn't, didn't really get it. But the water's a lot bluer. It's all the marlin. Hopefully, it comes back. Oh, we, we get the mar, we have the, the fish and the teaser, and we miss it. Maybe it will be mm. No luck, man. So slow the fishing, and then we got the bite and miss it. Look for another one. Huh? Again? Nice job, Houston. Yeah, Look at this. Let me get a quarter. 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 All of them. Is that another hook in him? Yeah, he got another one. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's some big old leader. Yeah. Here you are. That's a shark hook. Chip, let me get a quarter. What? Yeah, it is. Yes. Thank you, baby. Nice job, Doc. Woo! Nice job, girl. Good job. Good job. Well, let's go. Blue Marlin in the Bahamas, baby. Little baby. All right, so Sarah had some big help. It ate both baits, but that's good. Got a marlin, and if you saw, it had another giant hook in its mouth. Freaking somebody else's, someone else lost it. Oh. And giant hook. Had a giant hook in its mouth. Uh, oh. He is all wrapped up on the bill. We cut it all off for him. Uh, yeah. We got, we got him. Where he's a lot of, he's gonna be swimming a lot more freer not mad with all that stuff wrapped up so we got it all off of them but that's good the blue marlin baby we just need uh one more get get ready and then tomorrow execute catch more than two but that's fun you're welcome sarah i know you're watching the video you're behind me but if you're watching the video right now you're welcome for that uh the guns help, but uh, it's that was fun.
So good job, Cap. Good job, Carlos. Good job, Chip. And let's get another one. Fishing is really slow, but we, need, we get a little bit log, and we are one for two on blue marlin. So hopefully, get one more bite, and then go back to the marina. Get ready for tomorrow for the tournament. Look, Miguel. That's off. That's off the marlin. Long liners. Compared to what we're using, it's cable. What pound leader do we have on, Carlos? We have a hundred pound mono for yeah, the hundred leaders, pounds. a ninety pound floro for the for the hook. Okay, so yeah, ninety for the hook. That's that's triple that. That's some, and it's been on it. It's been on him for a while because this this line is super flimsy and wet, super waterlogged. So it's been on that fish for a long time. But luckily he ate, and we could got it. We got it all off of him. But I mean, imagine this wrapped around your head all day, or like on you somewhere. It get aggravating. So and this is there was a lot more too. It was wrapped all around his bill. But yeah. Yeah, I was just seeing the video anyway. Uh, no, but we got it all off. Long liners probably hooked him and. They saw the marlins, they just let him go, or he broke off the long line. But that's that's some thick look. Look at the size difference compared to what we're using. So pull, you can pull the boat with this. But yeah, hopefully we get one more. And we're gonna go on back and then go to the captain's meeting and get ready for tomorrow. It's a big day tomorrow. I'll let y'all know if we catch anything else. You know, the whole time I'm really. I don't focus on, I don't focus on this. I just, it's anything that it is for me. You don't, you don't have to. Like magic, like magic. We love these freaking harnesses. We love them. These belts. We use them. We got them back in Destin too. We have the belt. How's it feel? Good. So we fitted Sarah. Hi right, guys. Last 10 minutes, here we go. It is 218. We're uh we marked another fish, did a couple circles, trying to get our baits in front of him, but uh didn't could have been the same fish we caught or we hooked earlier. Uh but whatever we still caught a blue marlin and there hasn't been a lot of blues caught so there's some people that's been here for a couple weeks and haven't caught a blue marlin yet so that's good we're here our first day we've seen two and caught one so that's good but we got 10 minutes gonna we're heading to the house right now but we're just gonna keep on going we'll mark a fish we'll turn on him but and if, you, if you're wondering when I'm saying mark we got a we got the sonar in this boat, like the 72. So you can see you'll get a real hot mark of a fish. Sometimes uh, bait balls and stuff like that. So, but hopefully, hopefully uh, catch some catch some one more right before we get home. Maybe catch a mahi or something. But we'll see. We'll pick you guys up here in a minute. Whenever we uh, either start packing up or we're hooked up. We're them up. Yeah, we're out of here.
Alright guys, we're back at the dock. Got our beautiful flag over there, pink flag. Sarah caught her first bohemian marlin. Actually, we both did. But I'm gonna let her have it. She she real faster than me. But yeah. Practice day, one for two. A lot of these boats, a lot of these boats around us are looking around like holy crap they caught a blue marlin. Because a lot of people have not caught anything. Or any blue marlin. Some people have been here for two weeks and haven't caught one. So hopefully tomorrow we can catch another another one or two. Win the first tournament. Show everybody how Gunslinger does it. Gunslinger TV. But yeah, it's been a it was a good day. We just didn't get to the major. It's rough this morning, but we marked some big fish, maybe some big tuna or something earlier this morning. So Hopefully we're going to get out here in the morning super early and get over there for that early morning bite. But thank you for watching this video. You better get ready for the next one because the next one is the tournament. So we're actually about to go to this captain's meeting and get ready, get all the rules and stuff. But thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn the little bell notification on. We're going to get some merch. Go to Gunslinger TV right here on the Instagram. Click the little button right there somewhere. It says merch. DM me what you want, and we'll get you some. Get you some merch. Pelagic, thanks for the glasses. But catch you in the next one.